This channel is supported by my books, including my new book, Fishing the Edge, Techniques and Tales from Surf, Boat, and Kayak, and you can learn more at johnskinnerfishing.com and on Amazon. Hey, it's 34 degrees as I step onto the beach uh, this mid-November morning. Um, but you know, the water temperatures have been, were running quite above normal uh, prior to it getting really cold. And yeah, well, hey, <laughs> the fish are still around. And the size is definitely better than what I would expect to see at this time of year. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get right into it. And this is being driven by uh, bunker and uh, mostly bay anchovies but yeah there's some bigger baits here and the bigger baits are uh, what are keeping some little bit better fish around than I would expect it at this point and this is eastern Long Island Sound So this is the eight foot dark matter Skinner rod. Uh, there's now a one piece version of this. This is the two piece version. I actually don't even have the one piece myself yet, but um, they are available at j and Tackle. The nine footer is also available now, one piece. Uh, that's great. And I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Okay, so I'm throwing an ounce and a half bucktail into all these rocks, and it's low tide, and it's not very deep out there. And um, the way I'm getting away with that is these are bulky bucktails. You see how much hair is on there? Also hackle feathers. So specifically, these are the uh, John Skinner bass bucktails. Had these around for a long time, um, the fixed hook. And uh, that extra bulk gives you a little bit of float enables you to swim that jig you know you know if you try to if you hit bottom out here you're going to snag it um, and i almost never ever lose a bucktail um, you just start that retrieve as soon as it hits and uh, a moderate retrieve will swim it right above the structure and it's deadly Okay, the legal length limit is 28 to 35 inches. So far, these are all uh, in the lower end of the slot, but I don't keep stripers. I prefer to eat fluke, sea bass, blackfish, uh, that kind of stuff. I'm not sure how well it's shown up on video, but I'm able to cast just beyond that rock. Uh, I can see that hit. Yep, I can see it hit just beyond that. And, you know, bucktail's not the most aerodynamic lure, but uh, it sure is effective.
Okay, I've made a little move down the beach now. So this is cool. The fish are actually very, very close to the beach here, just a few feet out, very quiet. You, would, you could walk right by them. And they're not small either. Okay, where the X is, looks like a little smudge. Watch, that's a school of adult bunker. Maybe only 10 or 12, but um, you know, I've seen very few uh, adult bunker in the Eastern Sound this year. Um, and here we go, anchovies, bay anchovies, and these are all along the shoreline. And that's really the predominant bait, but between that and the bunker, yep, we've got the fish in here. Yeah, if I sound winded, yeah, I just had to uh, do a bit of a walk, but it was really climbing all over the rocks. That was uh, quite a challenge as well. All right, so this is neat. You know, I've got that ounce and a half bucktail on there, which I know is too heavy for these conditions, but I had it on for distance, and now these fish are right in here. And watch, this is a great higher vantage point. You can watch them swim up behind it. It just doesn't look natural. I know it's wrong. Look at them all. and <laughs> They don't want to eat it. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to take a couple of casts with it and, and they're not going to eat it but as soon as I go over to a one ounce you know it's got more natural motion in it under these conditions at the, this depth and retrieve speed and it's going to work fine but man they don't want this ounce and a half but it's it sure is fun to watch the fish come up behind it
So these rocks are slick, and you see there's no barnacles there, but it's got that weed growth. So I've got felt sold waders, and I know those are hard to find. Um, they're uh, the felt sold uh, hellbenders from Frog Togs, and uh, yeah, it, they work very well on this stuff, but boy, you could really get hurt on this because it's slippery. So people always want to know the retrieve speed. And you know, if I show them the reel, it really doesn't, it's, it can be misleading depending on the gear ratio, size of the reel. All you're looking to do is swim the jig above the bottom without getting hung up. And y you don't have a lot of water here. Maybe it's eight feet. So there's not like, um, you know, a large range in doing that. I mean, if you're above the bottom and not like skimming across the top of the water, well, then you're kind of in that right zone. So you just have to adjust. You know, you feel it tick the bottom and, uh, you know, make an adjustment, uh, you know, pick up the speed. You know. So that boat out there, he's got, he's left his motor running. Uh, if it was me, I would shut it off. But, you know, that, that's an experienced guy, I can tell, and he prefers to keep it running. I'm just wondering, what, what are people's feelings about that? I would definitely shut it off. Uh, who knows, you know, maybe he feels starting it is, is worse than just leaving it running. So uh, I wouldn't mind hearing opinions on that, whether it's better to keep it running or shut it off in this situation.
Hey, you know, as long as we don't get snow, I think this is going to be a pretty late season. Uh, not for me, though. This I'm, I'm just about getting done here because uh, I am going to head down to Florida for the winter and, uh, yeah, deal a little bit with damage from the hurricane, but uh, I'll, I'll be fishing with that stuff pretty soon. Still have a little more striper stuff to do, but, uh, yeah, this was a, a, a good late shot. And, um, hey, with all this bait, all these fish, uh, you know, they should be hanging around right to December, I would think. So, all right, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. And don't forget my new book, Fishing the Edge, Tales, Techniques and Tales from Surf, Boat, and Kayak. Available at johnskinnerfishing.com and on Amazon.